viewers and welcome to another edition of the social development outlook for tuesday 15 2022 i am your host remy guns and just to remind you that this program is hosted and produced by the communications unit within the ministry of social development and every single week we try our utmost to showcase the essential performances within this ministry and other related departments at this point in time, we'll take our first break and be right back. Valentine's Day raffle where one lucky winner was fortunate enough to be on the receiving end of a delectable red velvet cheesecake. We'll now view this excerpt. Michelle Freeman, the coordinator of the single parent group. With me is Vanessa Tavares, our secretary, and one of our members, Yolanda Smithen. So today we're gonna pay up, we're gonna pull from our backs of persons who would have bought tickets to see who the lucky winner is going to be today of um, this lovely cheesecake that was donated by Mr. Avery Bussell. Shake up the box. And we're gonna have one of my co-workers as well, lovely Becky, to pull the lucky winner. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And our lucky winner is Mentrial. I hope I'm calling the name right. Mentris, Mentris Atterton of Prospect. So the lucky winner of our raffle, a lovely velvet cheesecake, is Mentris Atterton of Prospect. At this time, I want to take this time to thank our donors, our persons who would have contributed to our bake sale. We have every bussel who, raffle, who, who donated the, the raffle cake for today. We had Ellen Grant, who did a plain cake. Janet Jones, every Wade, Best Buy, Rudy, who gave us a lovely donation of donuts and the space to do our activity. I Silma Daniel, Stella Kitchen, Sophia Wallace, Norris Leibard, and we had some helpers, Paula Isaac and Vera Maloney. We want to take this time to say a heartfelt thank you to our helpers as well as our, as our donors. And we want to thank the communication department to come out today to give us some coverage so the community could see all that we are doing and for us to be able to say thank you on a wider basis. Vanessa would like to say thank you and happy Valentine's. I would like to say thank you and happy Valentine's to my helpers, Vera Maloney and Paula Isaac, and to all those who donated. And happy Valentine's to my two sons, my King Ravalito Tavares and my Prince Tiveston Jeffers. Love you all. With us today is the lovely Mentress Atterton, our lucky winner of this sweet velvet cheesecake, Miss Mentress. Do you want to say something? She is so ecstatic about winning this cheesecake, she can't say a word. Well, I hope that you enjoy this lovely cheesecake on behalf of the Single Parent Support Group. And we thank you for buying a ticket and supporting us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, it's a bit surprise. I was working and they called, didn't expect to win. But thanks anyhow. I'll continue to support tonight. Yes, so thank you so much and enjoy. God bless. 
At this point in time, we'll take our final break and upon returning, we'll go straight into our feature presentation. My name is Kervin Wallace. I'm a track and field coach and the PE teacher at the George Levy Primary School, encouraging you to stay safe, protect yourself from others, wash your hands often with clean running water and soap. Stay updated by following the Health Promotion Unit on Facebook and Instagram or contact us at 469-8010. We are now on Facebook and YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. Mrs. Ursula Rogers of Zetland Gingerland celebrated her 95th birthday at her home with the Honorable Minister Eric Evelyn and members from the Seniors Division. At this point in time, we'll view some clips from this event. Crazy Mrs. Rogers. And now we're going to ask our Minister of Honorable Eric Griffin to do a presentation on behalf of the Ministry of Social Development. Thank you very much, uh, Trudy. And let me say good morning to all, all of us who are here. Um, Maria and Trudy and Jamaica. And of course, Swain from the, um, our Communications Unit. And the special lady of the hour, Mrs. Ursula Rogers. And uh, when I got here this morning, I asked her the question, is she really 95? Because uh, Mrs. Rogers would have celebrated 95 yesterday, the 7th of February. And anyone who looks at her would not believe that she's 95 years old. When I came here this morning, I said, Mrs. Rogers, you don't even look like you're 80. You know? And so whatever she's doing, God is blessing her and blessing her abundantly. Uh, Mrs. Rogers is looking wonderful for the age of 90. She still goes to church. Whenever I go to her church, she's always there. And I believe she goes to church practically every Sunday. She's looking very strong, very healthy. And I believe that God is going to continue to bless her. It's just five more singles you need now. You don't even need a six. Five singles. So keep that bat in your hand and bat well. Just edge the ball and take the single. So we expect it to be back here <laughs> the next year. And the after the um, and until we reach that century mark. Because uh, I am confident that with the way you are looking, I believe that you're going to go way past 100 years. And so we are very happy to be here from the Ministry and the Department of Social Services to wish you and to celebrate with you on this milestone. It's not very often that we reach 95. And I don't know what we do in Gingerland, but Gingerland seems to be the center of where people reach that milestone. And so, uh, with God's grace and blessing, I believe you will get there. And I want to say happy, happy birthday on behalf of all of us from social services and social development. On this, your milestone 95th birthday, may God continue to bless you abundantly and may He continue to give you good health and strength that you can press on with the singles and reach the milestone. God bless you and happy, happy birthday. And I will make this presentation. And I am saying many, many thanks. family rallies around me. I don't I wouldn't leave them out at all because 
love, 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 love at all times. And, and, and the love of God keeps me. The love of God is keeping me. And I'm thanking Him for where He has brought me from and where He has kept me so far, so far this time. Amen. 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 And that's our package for this evening. I am your host, Remy Gums, bidding you a pleasant night's rest. And remember, tune in next Tuesday for another edition of the Social Development Outlook.